cut chapter sleep draw done. Yes, so we are done with the chapter sleep draw for the 2024 2025 season. And these are the teams. This is the draw, the group stage draw. The teams will be seen play in the Cup Champions League. So before I continue, I want you to do one thing for me, just one thing. Go to the comment section and then tell me between these groups, of all the groups you are seeing here, which is your toughest group and which is your weakest group. And I'll tell you mine in the reaction. Welcome back. So my name is Seram. In group A, we have MC Elders who are making a return to the Cup Champions League after a long time. And they have a quality team, a quality side, which includes Andy Delors, who played in France. Also, they have about six players who have previously played for Algeria's national team. So it's a very quality side. There is also Avilao in this group. They have made it to the group stage the last five years. So all of the five years, they win in the group stage, but unfortunately for them, all of them has been group stage exits. So they got eliminated in the group stage since the last five years. So for the same time, they want to be lucky and survive this time around. Then there's young Africans who are making their first back-to-back -back appearance in the Cup Champions League. So before last season, where they made the group stage, the last time they had made the group stage was in 1998. So yes, after last season, they've made the group stage again and it's back to back and they are hoping to again qualify out of the group stage. They qualified from the group stage last season, only reached the quarterfinal where they got eliminated. So this time, they'll be hoping to make it out again. And they have also added some quality players into their team, which includes Klaatu Chama, who came from Simba, very experienced in the Cup Champions League, has played quite a few seasons. And also Prince Dubi, another quality player who joined the folds and along with a couple of other players. So, an improved young African team. Then finally, Tipi Mazembe, who was semi-finalist last year's edition, but a lot of quality players have left the Tipi Mazembe team. Um, if I could name a few, I think Fred Kizumbi, he was, he was crucial to the team last season. Augustine Oladipo, a, a lot of quality players have left the team. But the replacement is not up to that level. So um, probably a much weaker Tipi Mazembe team will be seen this season. But to my prediction, well, this team is very tough. I think the difference between all the four teams in this group is not that much. So that means anything can win the group. Anything can finish last. It's very small ground. But I have to predict. So I predict the young Africans because they kept their experience and added much more experienced players. I predict them to win the group. And coming in second place, I would have gone for Tsipi Mazembe, but they've lost a lot of quality players. So um, I will allow... They'll be playing again for the sixth straight season. And I think this time, they'll qualify out of the group. In Group B, there is Mamelodi Sundowns from South Africa, semi-finalist last year. But this year, they've made slight changes in management. The coach, Rulani Mokwina, has left the team and they now have a new coach and a new management. Also, they have a fairly new, new squad, fairly new squad because um, a couple of their key players have not been very actively playing this season. So fairly, so fairly new players into the team to improve competition in the team. And they also bring not that bad in the South Africa League. Three games they played this season, one or three games. So it, the Sunhouse team we know. Then there's also Raja Casablanca. They went on beating the whole of last season in Morocco. But this season, they played just five matches and they have already lost two games. Yes. So it hasn't been that good. Also for Raja, they've lost a couple of very key players they have last season. Their coach has also left the team. So it's a much more weaker Raja side as compared to the team who played last season and they won the league in Morocco. Then there is also as far Asfarabad, who are also coming from Morocco. They finished second place in the league last season in Morocco, but they are making their appearance in the Champions League for the first time since 2007. That is a very long time ago. And um, so they are making their return back, but they also lost a few of their quality players, including um, their top striker, Hamza Ingamani, who went to Regis in Scotland. And completing this group is Maniema Union, who came from Lira Congo. This is their debut, their first time appearing in a group stage of the Cup Champions League. But they had to do their top through eliminating Petro Luanda, who are one of the big boys of the Champions League. So um, it's a tough group, tough group. But to predict it, I think Sundowns undoubtedly should win this group. 
Then second place, because as far I'm making a return since 2007, I'm going to predict Raja to qualify because they have much more recent experience to qualify from this group. And group C, we have Alali, who, of course, the last two winners of the Champions League is Alali. Um, this season, they've lost some quality players. Abdul Muniem left to Nice. Um, Abdul Kader also left the team. Um, Dieng also left the team. So, quality players, but they've also brought in much more quality. And it's Alali. I mean, they are always strong every season. So, we expect them to be the same strong this year, too. Then also in this group is Serial Belizdat from Algeria. They were unsuccessful last campaign when they were eliminated in the group stages. So this year, they want to do better. They've improved their squad with some experienced players, which includes Islam Slimani, and um, Algerian International has returned to play for Serial Belizdat. But they are not in the best of form this season. Three games they've played in their league. All of them are draws. And even to qualify to the Champions League, they have to win their qualifier on penalty shootouts. So it was not a straight out qualifier. And that is a team struggling at the moment. In Group C also is Orlando Pirates from South Africa. They are making a return to the Champions League since 2019. So we haven't played in the group stage since 2019, making a return. And this season has been good. That good for Pirates. Three games they've played in the league. They've won all three of them. The 11 games they have played this season. And they are, they are unbeaten. Nobody has been able to beat them in, in 11 games this season. Also, they've won a trophy already. So, this is a team on fire. This is a team on fire. And lastly, to finish the group, we start with the Abishal. They are making a return to the Champions League group stage, I think, for the first time in 54 years. That's a very long time ago. Um, their players don't really, are not really that experienced at this level. So, I don't think we expect much for that is that the Abishal. Finish second in the league last season. Not much expected. So, to predict this group, of course, Ali will be my first team. Second team, the team on home, Orlando Pirates, I think, are going to finish second in this group. Then in Group D, we have last year's finalists, um, ES Tunis, Esperance Tunis in this group. Um, finalists, of course, last year. And as any North African club, they shipped a lot of their players out of the team at the end of the season. They brought in a lot of players into the team. So, and they have a lot of new players in their team, but that is how they do every season, so it should be normal for them. And they want to do better to win the Champions League this season. In this group also is Pyramids FC. They are making a back-to-back -back appearance to the group stage um, for the first time. And they were also hoping to go out of the group stage for the first time. They've never gone out of the group stage. I think mainly because um, they haven't really made that much appearances in the Cup Champions League. So hoping to make out of the group stage for the first time. And a very quality side, I must say. With very quality players. Then there is Aganda Esperanza, the only Angola team who are in the Champions League. Um, they last made their appearance in 2022 where they were eliminated in the group stage. So they are making another, another appearance and this time they are the only team from Angola who qualified to the group stage. Finished second in the league last season. Um, they should give a challenge to that is the boys in this team. Then to complete this group, Mali champions Joliba. Yes, Joliba. They are making it to the main round the Champions League in about almost 50 years. So that's a long time since being absent, making it back to the main round of the Champions League. And they'll be hoping to make it back. But my prediction will be as Paris to Nice, of course, the favorite in the Pyramid, very quality side, to finish second place. But you can also tell me who you think is going to finish first and second in any of these groups in the comment section.